Hello, around three weeks ago I started printing and painting up these models and as you will see shortly, I'm almost finished with this army. I do still miss painting up the steam tank and a few models, but I really needed a break from batch painting green and yellow, so I decided to keep a break from Empire for now. Anyway, before I get into the army showcase, I would love to hear your opinion on these miniatures. Do you think they compare well to, let's say, the miniatures from Games Workshop as an example? Personally, I think they fit just perfectly into the army, both in height and in general regards of details. But I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Alright, so I didn't actually film a lot of painting or anything because I thought the most important part to show was the end result and how these fares in regards of Games Workshop models I also have in the army. So let's just get to it. Alright, so first off I just had to show this model without the rest of the group. It's a really, really awesome model and maybe the model reminds you of someone. She at least did for me, so I just had to paint her up. Anyway, this was the first unit that I painted up. These are the Empire Knights. Um, there's also options for printing on knights like these on Highland Miniatures, but I just like the Games Workshop ones better. They are really bringing in a lot of nostalgia for me. Not a lot of special with these. I took the shields from the Spearmen and put onto these, and then some of the heads are from Britonia and not original Empire pieces. And here we have the Flaglands. These are also painted up with a really bright scheme, still following the yellow and green th Sterlander theme. Normally I guess I would paint these up in a more brownish theme, so to make them look even more poor and, you know, ragged, but I kind of just make it a challenge for myself in order to paint more bright uh, whenever I paint miniatures and not that grim dark that I used to. And here we are with the Huntsman or the special renowned unit from the Sterlanders, the Death Jacks, I think they are called. Uh, I actually just spotted that I actually missed one, so there's only nine in there, but of course I painted up ten. Then we come to the Militia units. Uh, I actually have a lot of Militia from Games Workshop as well, and I also like those models, but I just really thought these models look great, so I wanted to try and print and paint up these, and as you can see I made even one more addition. It's an Ogre from the Last Kingdom Miniatures, I think they are called which I just felt gave the unit a bit more edge to it, which I really like. And here we have the artillery piece that I printed and painted up. If you in any way like this model, I highly recommend that you check out the other artillery models that Highland Miniatures have made up. I really think they are all looking great, and I'm definitely going to print up more uh, of these artillery pieces because they just fit right in and was really fun to paint. And here we have the crown centerpiece of this army, at least what I think is the demigriffs. I can't really explain how much I love these demigriffs. I really think they look awesome and they basically took me no time at all to paint up. Uh, and I even think that even though I didn't use a lot of time painting these, they still look great. So really, really awesome unit and maybe I'll even print up even more of these. All right, that's it for these models that I've printed and painting up over the last three weeks. And then I just showcased the rest of the army. I have actually shown you some of the models before, so that's not that new. For my next project, I'm trying to do something completely different, maybe even trying to do a diorama, if I can figure out how to do it. And then afterwards, I actually have a plan or idea, if you will, uh, that I want to print up a Chaos Dwarf army, so that's going to be interesting and to see if there's actually enough uh, STL files out there to make a decent army, but we'll see about that. Anyway, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video.